Hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Grace and I make motherhood and lifestyle content here on YouTube. I currently have a almost three month old daughter named Ivy who was going to join me for this intro but she fell asleep so. <laughs> Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my newborn essentials and favorites. This is a highly requested video. So basically I'm going to be showing you guys all of the products that I use every single day or really frequently with Ivy with taking care of a newborn. I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my very favorite baby products that I use and then also telling you which ones I kind of regret getting and maybe wish I would have gotten something different. If you're building a baby registry or looking for, you know, gifts to get for somebody or just curious what it takes to take care of a newborn, then this is the video for you. I will say too, every baby is different, so some things might work great for me and Ivy and they might not work for you and your baby. Or, you know, there might be something that I don't like so much that, like, is absolutely amazing and you couldn't live without it. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. So in my head I kind of went through just an average day with Ivy and thought about what are all of the things that I use with her. I've divided it into a couple of categories. We have sleep, feeding, changing, play, bath, travel, and first aid. And at first I was like, oh, you know, I, I you know, kind of a minimalist. I don't think all of that many things. And then as I started going through, I had like 40 items. But honestly, there are things that I, I use all the time and I think are really great for the most part. A lot of these things I got when I was building my registry and it's hard because before you have a baby, you have to like figure out all the things you're going to need for a baby. Um, and now that I, I have a baby, I feel like I actually know what works and what doesn't. So I'm excited to share that with you. And I'm just going to get right into it. There's a lot of products. I'm going to go kind of fast because I don't want this to be the longest video ever. I have a bad habit when I start talking about baby stuff, I could literally talk forever. And I have most of the products right around me here to show you, but some of them are in use right now or just not very portable, so I'll just insert a picture or something. I will list all the products in the description and I will also link everything that I can so that you can check them out if you're interested in it. And let's go ahead and get going. The first category that I'm gonna talk about is sleep. So the first thing that we need, we use all the time, is Ivy's bassinet. We got the Halo Bassinest one, like that has the drop down wall, and I'll be honest, it's okay. It works. If you're going for that one, I would just recommend kind of getting the bare bones model. I think the Essentia is what they call it. We got the one that's like a step up and it has a soothing center on it, which really like does not work well at all. Um, in my opinion, she sleeps well in there at night in her nap, so it works okay. If I were to do it again, I would maybe look for a bassinet that could rock or sway. I know um, Four Moms makes one that kind of has a swaying motion that sounds cool. And maybe one that had like a canopy too, because Ivy loves to look around. Anyway, that's the one that we use. The next thing is the sound machine, which is in use right now um, as Ivy's taking a nap. We have the Hatch Rest sound machine and it's good, I like it. It gets really loud, it has a lot of different sounds, you can program it to different ones, it works great. Um, one thing, the app that connects to it, at least for me, is always kind of slow, which is a little bit annoying when you're like desperate to turn it up or turn it off or something, but it's not a big deal. So that one's really good. Um, next is Swaddles. I would highly, highly recommend getting Velcro swaddles instead of like swaddle blankets. I mean, obviously like it's up to you, do whatever you want to do, but for me, these have been the best. So we got the um, Aiden and Anais swaddles, they look kind of weird without baby in them. So there's Velcro, um, so they keep the baby really, you know, firm there so they don't wake themselves up with that scare reflex. And these ones also have a zipper on the bottom. So if you're doing a diaper change or something in the middle of the night, you can just unzip, do it real quick, and you don't have to completely unswaddle them. So that's great. We have a whole bunch of these. Definitely recommend those. Next product is sleepers. Honestly, newborn babies kind of just live in these things. Ivy definitely has been. We dress her up once in a while, but just like your classic sleeper, is the best. This is the Cloud Island brand from Target. Love these, have a ton of them. Um, we had like them in newborn size, we got them in zero to three month size. And you don't have to get these specific ones, but I think zippered sleepers are definitely the way to go. You do not want to be messing 
with buttons or with snaps in the middle of the night. Like, good gracious, it's so annoying. This has zipper, it zips from the bottom, which is nice, so you don't have to get them completely naked if you're doing a diaper change. It also has the little mitts on the hand, which we don't use super often now, but when she was a newborn and didn't have a lot of hand control, these are really nice to keep from scratching herself. So definitely recommend zippered sleepers. Next thing is pacifiers. Now, obviously up to you if you wanna give your baby a pacifier or not, but we did. I was fully planning on doing like the cute Bibs USA pacifiers or um, like the Ryan and Rose ones. I got those and when we were at the hospital, the lactation consultant just gave us these like little Philips ones, you know, the ones that have the hole in them. I'm sure you've seen these before. She took to them right away and really helped her soothe herself. She doesn't like love pacifiers, but she'll take them. So these are the ones we use, just the Philips Avent Soothies. Next thing for sleep, sort of, I just didn't know what category to put this into, is the Snuggle Me Organic. People are obsessed with these. And when Ivy was a newborn, teeny tiny, we use this thing all the time. Um, to have her out in the living room with us, just a place to set her um, for supervised naps. She really liked this. Um, now that she's a little bit bigger, we don't use it quite so often, but it's still nice to have on hand. We got this off Facebook Marketplace. I think that's the way to go because you don't know if your baby's going to necessarily like it or not. So I think where you can with baby things, go thrifted. It's a lot cheaper. You can find really good quality stuff. So that's my philosophy. Right, next thing is a baby monitor, which again is uh, plugged in over there, so I don't want to go get it. We have the Owlette monitor. I'm going to be honest, it's not my favorite. It kind of disconnects a lot from my phone, which bugs me. I think if I were to do it again, like I said, you learn so much once you actually have the baby. I would get one that has a separate screen, but some sort of baby monitor, you're definitely gonna want that for when the baby is not in the same room as you so you can keep an eye on them. Next thing is knotted gowns. When Ivy was first born, she lived in this knotted gown. It ties at the bottom. This one is Copper Pearl. They sell these at a lot of different places. These are just so comfy and nice for newborns. It's easy to change their diaper. You can just untie it real quick. Um, so I definitely recommend having these in the beginning. Also a sleep sack. So Ivy was born in the winter, so having her in just her sleeper and her swaddle, I felt like she just wasn't quite warm enough. So we also have a little fleece sleep sack that we would put on the outside of all that, and it's just a little zipper one. Again, it's in use, so I can't show you right now, but it's great. Um, if you live in a cold climate, definitely recommend something like that. It's a good safe sleep option. Last thing I have in sleep is blackout curtains. Ivy sleeps so much better when it's dark. She gets very distracted when it's light out. So blackout curtains are essential. We have them in the nursery, we have them in our room. Definitely recommend. One other thing in the sleep category that I kind of just wanted to mention is we did do the Taking Care of Babies sleep course, which was super helpful in getting Ivy to sleep through the night and take better naps. If you're thinking about doing that, I, I would recommend it. It's a little bit expensive, but it, it's worth it in my opinion. It's not gonna like fix all your problems, but it has some really good strategies and ideas in there. Now I'm gonna get into the feeding category. Now this will kind of depend on how you're feeding. If you're doing breastfeeding, bottle feeding, formula, pumping, Personally, I'm doing all of them. <laughs> First, if you're breastfeeding, the haka is awesome. I'm sure you have heard that from many people, but basically you suction it on one side while you're feeding the baby on the other. It catches the letdown and then that doesn't go to waste and you can put it in your fridge and feed it to them later. Next is the boppy pillow. This is the one that I got. I use this every feeding, every day when I'm breastfeeding her. It works well, but I wish it was like a little bit taller. I'm pretty tall and I have a long torso. So when this is just down like where it would naturally sit when I'm sitting and I'm holding Ivy to breastfeed her like it doesn't quite reach so I wish it was a little taller or I had like two of them or something but it works well. I just prop a pillow under one side and have the armrest on the other and it works just fine. Next is bottles. So if you are bottle feeding at all, obviously gonna need some. We really like the Como Tomo bottles. These bottles are great because they have a really wide base, which if you are going back and forth between breastfeeding and bottle feeding, um, definitely recommend something with a wide base that kind of 
uh, mimics the natural shape of a breast, at least that's what my lactation consultant told me. We also like the Philips Avent bottles, and if you're not also breastfeeding, I feel like the Dr. Brown ones are really good. I like the little vent thing that they have. Next thing I'm actually super excited to tell you guys about, Mom Cozy sent me these breast pumps. We've kind of been through a journey with breastfeeding for me. In the beginning, I was pumping so, so much because Ivy had a tongue tie. I was trying to get my milk supply up. It was a whole thing. And I originally got the Spectra S2, which is a good pump. It works really well, but it's one that has to plug into the wall. And I got to a point where I was pumping so often, I felt like I was just chained to the wall to the pump and I was just like spending so much time just sitting on the couch pumping and it was really starting to affect my mental health and I was like I don't know how much longer I can do this for so I was super excited when mom cozy reached out and offered to send these to me um this is a wearable breast pump and it basically it slips right into your bra I got two of them it comes with one normally isn't that nice da, da, da. imagine them like under my clothes I look kind of like bionic woman but anyway <laughs> these are great they give you your life back because you can just slip them into your bra there's no wires there's no tubes you can walk around and do I mean pretty much anything when you have these on and be pumping which is amazing they have saved me so much time I had looked into like the LV and the willow when I was starting to really get sick of traditional pumping those are like $500 one of these is like 60 something which is great so both 120 it's like a fifth of the price of one of those really expensive ones if you're planning on pumping i would really highly recommend looking into something like this and they're pretty easy to use too this is the power button this is the let down mode this is the regular pumping mode and then you can increase or decrease the suction and it has five different levels i will say it doesn't have quite as many functions and settings as a traditional pump like the spectra or Mandela. but for me i'm not pumping quite so often now um just a couple times a day so i don't really mind and i honestly haven't really noticed a difference in my output between this and the other pump so definitely recommend checking out mom cozy's wearable breast pumps i will link them down they're actually having a Mother's Day sale right now. So one is a buy two get two free of the wearable breast pumps And then there's also buy an electric breast pump and any pumping bras and save 23% off with the code mom So I will um, link that in the description if you guys are interested in these Seriously, they were a game changer for me. You will save so much time. Trust me. All right next up in feeding is bibs so if you are bottle feeding and you have a drooly baby definitely want some bibs or you just have a drooly baby in general i got these ones off amazon they're cute little bandana bibs they're great definitely recommend there's lots of cute ones out there next is like nursing and pumping bras i just got some from target this is like their basic um, i think auden is the brand this is a padded one has the clip up and down and then i also really like these ones they're like the kind of sports bra kind but they're super stretchy and comfy and they just have a crisscross so that's that's what i'm wearing right now and these are just nice if you're like at home chilling this is the Auden brand too definitely if you are pumping and nursing getting like a two-in-one bra can be kind of awesome but if you're using something like this you don't have to worry about it they actually work super well with either of these um, especially these little stretchy ones. So if you're formula feeding, you also obviously need formula. Um, we use the Similac Pro Advance, Advance Pro, like that. Okay, last thing, burp cloths. And here's where I have a, a good recommendation for you. Instead of getting traditional burp cloths, we got cloth diaper inserts and they're awesome. We, we go through so many of these. I like have washed them a million times. They hold up really well. They're super absorbent they're made to absorb all sorts of little things so for you know spit up or whatever it might be these are awesome next we're going to move on to the changing category obviously you need diapers if you're doing cloth diapers like do that i do not do that i just do disposable and we get the pampers pure diapers they are great we've never had any issues with them i really like that they're um more natural and they don't have any like harmful dyes or perfumes chemicals in them definitely recommend and then we also get the pampers the sensitive wipes 
which have been great. Uh, go through like a ridiculous amount of those. We also use the Earth Mama Organic Diaper Balm. Looks like this. This thing is awesome. It smells good. It works super well. She's never had diaper rash. This little can it looks so small, right? But this has lasted like three months and it's still a third of the way full. So I would recommend looking into this one. Um, if your baby has a really bad diaper rash, you might need something a little stronger, but we used this from the beginning and it was great. Also, we got the Kigaroo peanut changer. Oh my gosh, this is probably like the best purchase. Actually, my mom got it for me, um, but it has been amazing. So it is smooth and you can just wipe it clean when you're done. Ivy has peed and spit up and pooped all over that thing and we just wipe it down and it's amazing. Definitely recommend that. It is a little bit of a splurge compared to other changing pads, but it is 100% worth it in my opinion. And then also diaper pail. I, oh, it's right there. <laughs> I'm not gonna get it out of that corner because it's so heavy right now. But we got the Ubby diaper pail, stainless steel, works great, keeps the smell in. I would highly recommend that one as well. And it just takes regular trash bags. You don't need any like special things for it. My next category is play slash week time. So the first thing I have in here is the play mat. So we have the love every play mat. It's awesome. We do tummy time on there. We play, have some floor time. I read her stories, sing her songs, and it comes with really great flashcards and a little booklet of different activities you can do with it that are developmentally appropriate for each stage that your baby is in. Next is a swing. Um, we got the Four Moms Mama Roo swing that a lot of people have and it's been awesome for us. I've heard that not all babies like it, but Ivy loves it. Um, when she was a newborn, she took a lot of supervised naps in there or just put her like straight to sleep. And now it's just kind of a great spot for her to hang out and lounge when we don't want to have her in our arms, which is really nice when you're trying to eat a meal or do some cleaning or whatever it might be if you just need to set her down for a moment. You don't necessarily have to get that one. There's definitely way cheaper swings out there, but that's the one we got and we really like it. Next is books. We read stories to Ivy all the time. She is definitely too young to understand anything that's going on in them. I'm a language arts teacher and reading to your child from a young age is so good for them. So we have just some fun books and we love to read them to her as bedtime stories or while she's doing tummy time or whatever. What we did is at our baby shower, we asked people instead of bringing a card to bring a book and just write a little note to the baby in the cover. Definitely recommend that strategy, that was great. Next, um, clothes. A lot of times she is just wearing zippered sleepers, but when we want to dress her up in a cute little outfit, I would highly recommend getting thrifted clothes. Babies grow out of clothes so quickly. I cannot even believe like how much Ivy has grown. They also like just get them dirty all the time. You wash them a ton. I didn't want to get a lot of super precious clothes that I was scared of messing up. I just wanted things that, you know, she could wear and be easy to wash and whatnot. So I got most of her clothes thrifted from like Once Upon a Child or somewhere like that. And then I bought a couple, you know, special outfits brand new for her. Um, definitely recommend that. I mean, obviously do whatever you want. Shopping for baby clothes is so fun. But I think that's a really good strategy if you're looking to save some money. Next category is bath. The first is nail clippers. We got the read a baby nail clippers which are really great because they have a little shield so you don't cut their skin. Baby's nails grow ridiculously fast so you're definitely going to want something. These work great. It also comes with like a little curved nail file too. When they're super little their nails are really thin and flexible so it's hard to cut them so it's nice to have something like this so they aren't scratching themselves all day long. Okay next is like a baby wash and shampoo. We got the Aveeno Baby Daily Moisture and it's great. It smells really good. This is like kind of that like newborn baby smell and I just love it. And it also came with a little lotion that we use after she takes a bath. Um, so these are great, super gentle on their skin. I have the Angel Care little bath thing, but I, I haven't really used it. When they're so little, I feel like it's, 
it's just so much easier to hold them so I just get in the bathtub with Ivy and hold her and let her kick and splash around and she loves it so for a newborn I don't think you necessarily need a baby bath it might be nice when she's older but we'll see next brush so I have a brush and I have a comb if your baby doesn't have any hair like you obviously don't need these things but Ivy has um, some longer hair so these are nice to have honestly got these from the hospital and they like pulled them out when they gave her her first bath and asked if we want to take them home and I said yes please um, but there are some really cute like wooden ones that you can buy I'll link them okay so you can check them out next up is a washcloth and towels now I'll say these are not really like essential you can just use like regular towels and it works just fine but it is nice to have some that are dedicated to the baby I think so we just got a pack of a whole bunch of little washcloths which are nice you use these all the time and then little towels for her too these are from Burt's Bees they're like the little hooded towels and they're nice they're really absorbent and cozy and cute another thing that's not essential for bath time but I really like having it is a little bath rinser and you can just use it to rinse off um, their hair or whatever I use this every time we take a bath and I really like it you could just use like a cup or whatever but I like having that and also oil so this is vitamin E oil just like straight up and we put this in the bath before we give her a bath and it just helps keep her skin really nice and hydrated um, in a more natural way. Her skin is super dry in the beginning so that is really nice to have. This is kind of more like first aid. Things we don't use like every single day but are really nice to have on hand and we do use pretty frequently. So first thing is a thermometer. I got the Kinza Care thermometer. It's like the ear mouth rectal one which is more accurate when you have a baby works great I think it pairs with your phone or something I haven't used it to do that I just you know use it like a regular thermometer next is a bulb syringe this is great for syringing out their nose um also got this from the hospital I did get the Frida baby snot sucker um I haven't used it yet though it's too big for her nose right now and this fits a little bit better and the last thing in first aid is the windy gas passer from Frida Baby. These are awesome. If your baby is really fussy or constipated or really gassy, these are super helpful um, for getting out that trapped gas. And they normally like will make Ivy poop too. In the beginning, she was pretty constipated, so these were a lifesaver. I don't. I'm actually out, so I'm just showing you the box, but. I would recommend those. We do have more first aid things for her, but these are the things that we use like very frequently. So that's what I'm showing you. Okay, my next category is travel, which uh, it's COVID times for me. So we aren't doing a whole lot of traveling, but honestly just, I mean, these for even going like to a doctor's appointments or family's house, to the park, whatever. These are things that we always use. First one, and this isn't even like really travel, but is ugh, my Solly baby wrap. If you follow me on Instagram or have watched any of my previous vlogs, you know I use this thing all the time. It is awesome. Ivy loves being in this thing. She falls straight to sleep when she's in it usually. It's great if you want to go on walks or get some things done around the house, get some work done. I love my Solly baby wrap. I would definitely recommend looking into some sort of wrap or carrier. I am going to get a more structured carrier too because as she's getting bigger, she's getting a little bit heavy for this. I actually found one on Amazon that looks really good. I'll link that structured carrier too if you guys are interested. Next thing is a, something for them to sleep in while you're traveling. I have like a travel bassinet from the brand Lullyboo. I'm actually doing a full like dedicated review video of this really soon so I'm not going to talk too much about it but if you guys are interested definitely look out for that video. It's just nice to have a safe spot to lay them down to take a nap or play or change their diaper or whatever. Next is a car seat cover. So I got the copper pearl one that's um, a three in one. It also works as a nursing cover or a shopping cart liner thing for the front part when they get bigger but I just use it as a car seat cover and it's great because it makes it nice and dark in there so that she can fall asleep easier in her car seat and this is super like soft and stretchy too so I really like this one. Next I want to talk about a portable sound machine. It's called Mila the Monkey. It doesn't have as many settings, doesn't get as loud as our hatch one but for on the go this is great to turn on. It also has like a little 
nightlight thing. It gets pretty loud, so this is great if you're trying to get her to sleep out somewhere. You can hook it to the top of your car seat or just stick it in there with them. And obviously you also need a car seat. Mine is out in the, the garage and I didn't want to bring it in. We got the Evenflow Pivot Expand travel system. Um, that one's great. So it has a, an infant car seat that and a base so you can just pull out the car seat really easily and stick it into the stroller. It also comes with like a toddler seat. It's a two to one stroller, so you can use it for longer, have both your kids in it. We do plan on having more kids eventually, so that'll be nice to have. It's fairly budget friendly for what it is compared to other similar models. But the car seat is a little bit heavy, but that might just be because Ivy is getting heavier and heavier. That's a good one that I would recommend. Okay, last thing for travel is a diaper bag. I got the Fawn Design um, diaper bag, the original, which I feel like everybody has, but it's great. It's massive. So you can fit like everything you need for you and baby in here. It can work as a backpack or it has a strap to be a crossover bag. Love this. Love that it's leather so you can wipe it down if it gets dirty. It's a little bit of a splurge, but I really wanted it and I'm happy that I got it. All right, so those are all of the products that I use every single day, my essentials, my favorite products for taking care of a baby. They're not everything I have and use. I mean, I obviously have other stuff, um, but these are like my essentials, like would recommend to other moms. I hope this video was helpful in knowing what you should get for your baby, or it was just interesting to watch baby or whatever. I watched these like long before I was pregnant so I get it if that's you. Like I said I'll be sure to link all the products that I can down in the description and I'll list everything. If you guys have any questions about any of these things please just leave that in the comments and I'll do my best to respond to you. If you're not following me on Instagram make sure that you are. It's at Grace Levon. and if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel make sure to subscribe. My goal is to get 5,000 subscribers by June, so if you haven't subscribed yet but you've watched a couple of videos and kind of liking what you're seeing, it would mean so much to me if you'd hit that subscribe button and join our little YouTube fam here. If you have a little one on the way, congratulations. It is so fun and I would just say like don't stress too much about products and stuff. You don't need that much to take care of a baby. It's nice to have all these types of things, but the, really the most important thing is just that you love them and that you do your very best to take care of them. All right, so that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!